All right, guys, we're going to be talking about the next credit card, which is the Trust Credit Card. Okay, the Trust Credit Card, of course, is actually the new digital bank that Stanchart actually formed, right? So, they are new key on the block, right? So, this is actually between NTUC and Standard Chartered, credit, uh, Standard Chartered, right? So, they actually come out with a new digital bank. So, this new tr uh, trust card, okay, is essentially going to be replacing the NTUC card. So, uh, basically, so remember there is a NTUC OCBC card in the past, right? So, uh, well, NTUC, they're going to face out this credit card and then they're going to be using this trust card, all right? So, you either switch to the OCBC 360 uh, credit card that will be issued to you by OCBC or you switch to NTUC's latest credit card, which is the trust card. So, Similarly to the NTUC uh, uh, OCBC card, right? So the, tr the trust card actually can give you NTU discount and allows you to earn link points. So, uh, well, uh, it's a pretty okay card to use, but well, the bonuses and the dining vouchers can be a very uh, uh, pain in the ass to work on, right? So let's look at the review on this, okay? So. Uh, if you are shopping quite a bit at NTUC uh, fair price, finance or extra or even warehouse club, right? Uh, well, this card might actually suit you because they you can actually get the link points. So there are limited dining vouchers you can access in the mobile app. So you might want to actually go check it out, right? So it's a fully mobile app based. So you but you do receive a credit card a week after you upload your uh, your online application, which you can use to make payments and scan at the NTUC to earn link points. So some of the key selling points is that, okay, uh, well, a numberless credit card. So basically you still have a credit card number in your mobile app. So in your on your credit card right there is no other, uh, no other numbers. So of course uh, it's to prevent theft, all right? So, and you have a 7% NTUC reward point and a $25 NTUC sign up voucher. So I would say, well, pretty okay, not bad. Uh, the trust credit card, right, is an entry level credit card, right, so with minimum salary of 30,000 per year. So to apply for a card, uh, the, the trust card, you need to download the app and then sign up with Swing Pass and then you're gonna receive a personalized credit limit that uh, comes, you know, that fits your income status. Good thing about this card, zero dollar annual fee wow which is pretty awesome right interest rate at 26.9 percent late payment fee at a hundred dollars the rest of it not bad foreign currency transaction fee zero wow uh, amazing cash advance fee zero dollar as well so uh for a minimum income of thirty thousand dollars in this card is actually not bad Right. Uh, well, of course, this card is actually the same as the other credit card, uh, compatible with the mobile contactless payment methods like Apple Pay or PayWave. Uh, well, this card itself, right, basically, uh, is actually a rewards card. So reward points are stated 0.22%, 0.5%, and 7%. So it can be very misleading. All right. So this base reward point is actually 0.5% at fair price and at 0.22% uh, for Visa-based spending. So there's no minimum spend on that. So the uh, bonus reward points is at 7.5% at fair price, uh, but there's a there's a uh, I know a minimum spend of $450 every month, except uh, for all fair price transactions is kept at 5,500 link points. So there is a extra uh, bonus reward point at seven uh, you know at a fair price per quarter. So that means uh, $450 per for three months, three consecutive months, uh, all except for the uh, fair price interaction set at, uh, kept at 7,500 points. All right, basically confusing. So if you want to get uh, the 7% uh, reward point for NTUC, you have to first spend $450 outside of NTUC fair price. So it's like, what the hell, right? So, uh, you know, you're running hybrid office whatsoever, well, uh, well, 450 dollars actually not easy to spend so and uh, over here right so it actually works uh, pretty well for people who eats out pays by visa etc on top of you spending at NTUC so when you actually use your uh, NTUC trust card right 
you can earn the points in link points. So link points, uh, while well, the good thing is, they might expire. So link points, okay. Basically, uh, you know, the, cre the credit card actually automatically classifies your transaction into categories for you, right? So over here, uh, well, the link points, but the question is, right, there's an option to redeem or transfer it to the main end use link our membership so well over here uh the dining discounts right there is a two dollars off a uh, starbucks 50 percent off a zinger box from kfc a six dollars off for the food panda with minimum spending of 35 dollars and maximum five thousand redemptions by the way i believe is um, fully redeemed already Deliver uh three dollars off with minimum spend of twelve dollars only for new customers. All right, so pretty much the uh, customers is pretty bad as well. Uh, oh well, this right the writer right the author of this article actually paid for a single box in the trust customer, but did not get the discount. So it's a bit, still a little bit function uh, dysfunctional. So. Waited on the line for 17 minutes. Customer staff, uh, you know, took a long time to read. I explained that will be credited to the account within 24 hours. Yeah, it's two days. <laughs> the promise 50% is not back yet. So no return confirmation. So the voucher, oh, so right in app. So the voucher is only for first 10,000 users. Uh, the KFC staff should apply for the discount if the stock is available. You can check da da da. Wow. That's bad. The review is actually pretty bad. So, um, I think that the uh, the trust bank is is still uh very new, and the uh, and the uh, customer service is not up to standard. So, kind of kind of use it. But personally speaking, I I still think that you can actually try to use it, open up as many bank accounts as possible because. Uh, to have bank accounts in Singapore, to be honest, it's going to get more and more tougher. So if you have more bank accounts, I think that may be good for you. But when to have this cut or not, I think that if you are going to be spending on other expenses on top of these 7%, might not be worth it because there, uh, your expenses could have good earned more rebates on that. So personally speaking, uh, would, you, would, would I uh, uh, Use this credit card, maybe not, but however, there is something that I might want. I think that is actually pretty worthwhile, which is this the uh, foreign currency transaction fee is actually zero, and then there's a cash advance transaction fee, which is zero as well. So, I think this two is actually one of the best feature of all, and of course, there is no annual fee. So, because of this and these two, yes, I think you should get a card. But however, do note that this will affect your credit standing. So if it actually affects credit sending, then you might not want to have this card to actually add on to your liability. Alright, guys, uh, well, we're going to cover more cards later. So uh, do let me know if you have any other credit cards that you want to review, review. And then I'm happy to actually talk about my views on that. Alright, so thanks guys for your attention.